Hey, what's up everybody? This is your Keto Chef Rob. Today we're making kimchi. And this is a staple in the Korean diet and it's been a staple for like thousands of years for a good reason because it's super healthy for you. And I know this is a Keto Chef channel. This isn't 100% keto, but it's a good addition to any dish because it introduces a lot of good bacteria. Specifically, the bacteria we're looking for is called lactobacillus. And it comes from a process called lacto-fermentation. And that's the same kind of fermentation process that we use in sauerkraut, traditional pickles, and of course, kimchi. Anyways, I wanna show you how we do it step-by-step. Step. This is a long recipe, it takes a week or so, and I'm gonna show you how mine turned out. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's do it. First thing you wanna do is you wanna start with some really clean hands and work surfaces because, you know, we are fermenting food here. As you can see, I cut up a cabbage, and this is a Chinese cabbage. Also, Napa cabbages work as well, and that's, that's what we're looking for is a cabbage with thin leaves. I like to add the salt directly onto the cabbage and get some natural liquids out of it. Salt is super important in this recipe. It's what makes us safe to eat. Salt kills a lot of the bad bacteria. Also, kimchi, it's a little weird, but dried shrimp is a must have in this recipe. And it gives it the fishy tanginess that we're looking for. I'm adding a bunch of spicy peppers. And another thing you can't leave out is this red chili powder. I leave a link for it in my Amazon influencer page or a link in the description below. Everything else you can just get at a normal grocery store. Now these giant scallions or green onions, whatever you want to call them, you don't need to find these giant ones if you have just like little regular size ones. Just make sure you have about a good, like a solid handful or two of these. And you want to mince it up just like you did with the garlic and ginger. Here is a not so keto part of the recipe. You can honestly leave out the carrot and radish. I'm just going to cut them in half and I'm going to add them to mine just knowing that it's not going to go to town on a bowl of kimchi by itself. I'm just going to add a little bit to my eggs in the morning or whatever. And you'll notice here I'm using a quarter cup of bottled water. A lot of tap water has chlorine in it and chlorine kills any bacteria in the water, good or bad. And lastly, some fish sauce. I also left this off because it's not key to making kimchi, but it adds to the flavor of kimchi but it's also something that a lot of people don't like. A lot of people don't like the fishiness of it. So I'm gonna add it to mine. I like a really pungent kimchi, so I'm going for it. Uh, super clean jar. Uh, we want to make sure that we don't have any sort of contamination on the work surfaces that we're using, including the jar that we're fermenting in. And I got this big flip top one and I like to keep the top open with a rag on top because that allows gas to get out but no critters to get in and we're going to ferment this for one week if you're using it and just eating it plain it's because it's a lot more pungent after two weeks and if you see any slime that's formed on top that's probably just yeast if it's white slime it's yeast if it's fuzzy like the top left corner here that's mold throw it out you gotta start again go ahead subscribe and hit that little bell icon and you'll be part of my notification squad thank you so much for watching this keep it keto guys stay healthy peace